Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Oh, week 25. So 25 and 25 is 50. So 26 and 26 is 52. So week 26, we will be halfway through the year. Isn't that crazy? I don't know where the time is going. But right now we're on week 25. So welcome aboard. Um, this is the 2023 Marguerite Miller Collage Weekly Planner Challenge. So I hope you stick around. This is going to be, a, I don't know, we'll see how this one turns out. I have a few things in mind and I'm just going to kind of run with it. So this week Marguerite uh, has requested we use a piece of furniture. She wants us to doodle, or a doodle, something that makes sound in a pattern. An eating utensil, a list, and an illustration. So, someone else had asked me what my take was on something that makes sound in a pattern. So I gave my advice, and I don't think she's using this. But the first thing I, one of the first things I thought of were waves. So when you're at the ocean, you hear the waves and they have a, a constant pattern rolling in, rolling out, rolling in, rolling out. So I'm going to use this really pretty scene here. This comes from the back. Let me show you where I took this image from so again you can get an idea where you can use um you know what books to use now when my husband and i traveled a couple years ago up from key west florida we stayed at an opal resort they're beautiful um and i think we were at naples so here <laughs> Here's Opal of Florida. So I think we stayed. Is this Florida or is this just a, okay, so Florida starts. Oh, we stayed at Delray Beach, the Opal Grand Ocean Resort. Let's see if that's in here. We have stayed at the Bar Harbor or not. No, we didn't stay at Bar Harbor. Um, we were in Bar Harbor. Oh, Samoset Resort. We have stayed at the Samoset Resort before. That is up in um, Midcoast, Maine. That's a beautiful resort. Portsmouth. Of course, Lake Placid. That's in my backyard. Um, they now own... Yeah, they own... Um, Oh, come on, Barbie. The Lake, duh, the Lake Placid Lodge. It's beautiful here. We actually stayed in a cabin. We did that one year for our anniversary. The Sagmore Resort, that is literally in my backyard. Sandpiper. Uh, Clearwater. Where's the one in, this is Treasure Island. Longboat Key, been there. Where's the one? This is Lido Beach, that looked nice. Naples. And I will say their, their pricing is good. Delray Beach, this is where we stayed. We stayed in Delray Beach. Um, my former daughter-in-law, she remarried and this is the resort right here. They have a beautiful pool. Um, she put everybody up at right here, the, the Opal Grand Oceanfront Resort and Spa. Here's the pool here. And I sat right there. Um, so I picked up one of these. Here's Delray. This is Delray Sands. Delray Beach is a beautiful place um, to visit. Key Largo been to the Marriott Resort there. We've stayed there. We always stay there on our way down to Key West for one night. Opal Key Resort. 
This is in Key West. This is a really pretty. This is, sits right on the ocean. Um, Sunset Key Cottages. That's down in the Keys again. The Laureate in Key West. Yeah, if you've never been to an Opal Resort, I suggest you go. Um, their pricing is very, it's very comparable to anything else. We're very picky about our rates and things like that. But um, so I took this image from the back of this Opal Resort. I don't want to cut it up. I keep this in my room and I fantasize about <laughs> vacations I'd like to take and never seem to take. Um, but I wanted to use this here. So that's another book. So when you're on vacation, pick up some some of their books that they keep in the, um, the lobby and stuff. If they're free, grab them, and they make great books to collage with. So this is my um, something that makes sound in a pattern. Waves make sound in a pattern. And then they've asked for a piece of furniture. So I did take this out of the book. Um, this actually is the Sagamore Resort, very close to me. I'm only about 15 minutes away from here. And this is a great place to eat and have, um, have, have cocktails. I've sat out here before with my girlfriends having, and it's such a beautiful sunset um, in the Adirondacks. We have beautiful, beautiful sunsets right over the lake. Our lake is 32 miles long, and it is just stunning. But unfortunately, um, usually every year, um, someone drowns in our lake. They, they either go in the lake too soon because it is cold. I mean, I've been in the lake before. My girlfriends and I have been out on boats in, um, I'm taking this wine glass off. We've been out, we'll run a boat, and we go out for the day. And in the warmest of August days and warmest of summers we've had, we get in that, we jump in that lake. We always have a pool noodle because the, the cold can actually take your breath away. And <laughs> you need to hang on to something. Um because it, it can be very cold. It just doesn't warm up like it should. Okay, I think I'm going to put a beach chair. And, and it's not a beach chair. It's an Adirondack chair. Let's get that straight. An Adirondack chair. And maybe I'll put this one right over here. Um won't really be able to cut around that fire. I'll make pretend this chair with a wine glass. This is this is my husband's chair because he will have a glass of wine. I don't drink only when I go on vacation. Then I have one drink, and then that's it. And it's usually a Bloody Mary. Um, my son thinks it's funny when I, when I have a drink. He had always said, because I get, I get to be a real sappy, loving, I get, I get laughing really hard and then I'll just burst into tears and he'll say, come on, mom, have one more. I'm like, uh-uh, I can't. One is enough. Okay. So I think I'm going to put my chairs right here. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out with the X-Acto knife. Um, I think that'll look better, and I'll be right back. Okay, so they are cut out, and I will put them down there in that corner, I believe. Now, the next thing is um, an eating utensil. So I found this gold spoon, and it's a little bigger than I wanted, but I guess we could make this a little surreal collage. I mean, everything, it's not going to be. Um, I'm going to cut this out like this for now. Around this saucer and cup. Now, I have an idea, but I don't know if I can pull it off. So, so buttons. I'm just trying to get this, some of this off of here. See why I like to use these long four inch scissors these are four inch scissors someone asked me that um, because i can make really nice strides with them now i mean we could do that but i don't think it really goes with the collage and my list i'm going to i have a list but i'm going to write my list out and a doodle and I wanted to doodle a, um, a sailboat out here. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, if I can pull it off, I don't know. We'll see. I think I'm going to use this spoon as the sailboat's main mast. And therefore, I'm going to have to doodle a sailboat using this. And this is where I'm going to be a little nervous. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move... this piece over here um yeah i think if i move that it's going to be huge it's going to be a huge ship all right huge boat i think i will just put it here and uh Let's see. I think I'll take a little bit. I'm just trying to figure. I don't want to glue it down yet. Um, I'm just going to take a little piece of washi tape. And where am I going to? I'm going to just think of where I'm not going to be putting. Maybe I'll put just want a little bit of piece to hold this down. Put a little piece there, and if this is the main mast, maybe I'll put a little, put a little piece there just to hold it in place. Okay. Okay. So let's get my. I'm going to use my the paper studio pen, and I better before I get. Uh, settled with this. I better see what little D's bark and X. I don't want to have any more interruptions. All right, that's taken care of. Um, okay, so this is going to be the main mast of the sailboat. Um, I should probably get my. I'm going to just use a pencil real quick. I would just want to get the. 
the size, kind of like the size where I'm going with this. Okay, so um, let's see. see how I do here. I may have to bring this down. That's why I was with the bow itself. So I'll just move this down a little bit right here. Okay. All right, let's see. And then we have the main mast here. And then we're gonna have a little, I wanna have a little thing coming off the top. And then we're going to have, I'm going to make this come right down and then we have, this is going to be the main mast. So just trying to think here how, And then we have, we're going to put this right down here with this. And the main mast is going to be somewhat kind of thick like that. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue... I'm going to glue this down, get that tape off of there. Kind of got my, we're just going to doodle a little, little ship on here. Okay. And let's see, what else with the sailboat? We could have a little, we'll do like a little top deck here. Our little window on the top decks here. And then All right, I guess this is going to be good enough for my my little sailboat here. Bring this little I'm 
main mass down here. It's kind of got to have a little glare on it, but. All right. And we've got these little, still have a couple little jut outs. And then we have a, be careful of the glue here. We have another couple little masks that come down. All right, usually the sailboat has a, then we can put a thing out like it's dropped anchor. All right, so I guess that's good. That's my little, that I'm going to say is my doodle around my, um, that'll be my doodle. <laughs> it's a doodle, all right. All right, so let's get this down. never said I could draw. Okay. All right. So here's my back page, my sailboat, my chairs, my furniture, I should say. Nice little glass of wine. The other chair over here, nice little Adirondack chair. Very comfortable chairs, these are. Any Adirondack chair I think is very comfortable. Okay. All right, what's next? Um, oh, my list. I'm going to... I'm going to write my list out. So, oh, the other thing that has, I'm going to add in here that has a, um, you know, something that makes sound in a pattern are seagulls. And I'm sure that you know the sound and pattern of a seagull. And I thought they would... And I can outline these seagulls to make them stand out a little bit more. I thought it'd be fun to have a, this one actually comes out of this. This is a die cut. So it's nice to use the ones that are outlined as well. And then we can we can outline around them. We can make a few more doodles. So, whoops, let me just fold this up here so I can kind of see. I don't want to get my head. I don't want to get my head in the way here.
there. So that helps. That also helps with the doodles. Um, and I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, my list. So my list is whenever you go on vacation, you need to you need to make that list, right? So we've got. Um, I'm gonna make my list right over here. Um, one is sunglasses. Two. Let's see what else. We need sun lotion. Three. What else you need? You need a towel. Four. Um, everybody needs to bring a good book. And five. Um, we need to bring our water bottle. So we stay hydrated. Notice I didn't include phone in there. I never take my phone to the beach. When I go to the beach, it's only for relaxation, to get away. So that is it for this week. Let's go over the prompts again. Make sure I didn't forget anything. So we have a piece of furniture, which is the Adirondack chairs, a doodle, which is the sailboat here, something that makes sound in a pattern. That is the lapping of the waves and some seagulls. Um, an eating utensil is our spoon that was incorporated into the sailboat is the main mast. A list, our list to bring things to the beach. And um, I guess I could include illustration in that, um, but I, I won't. I don't know if that's really an illustration. So that is it for this week, my friends. It's week 25, and we are almost halfway through the year. Um, so if you like this video, I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe and thank you. A uh, big thank you hugs and, um, well wishes to all my returning viewers. Um, I wouldn't be here without you. So a big, big, big thank you to all of you. So I will see you in my next video and everybody happy collaging and happy paper crafting. All right, everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye.